reference God quite a lot. Yeah. Um, what's your, I mean, personal take on how God's carried you through so far in your journey of life? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy because you know, you know, you meet those people that would be like, "Yeah, man, you know what? I'm just, I'm just praying that the universe will do this." Or I'm like, and they they talk about they talk about life from a very passive perspective. Like, yeah. oh yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna just put this in the universe, you know. And it's like, you know, not to knock them because, you know, you know, I, you know, it's good to have, uh, it's good to have people that are conscious of these things. Um, but for me, I'm very much somebody that uh, I've always believed that I can accomplish anything. And the extreme of that is that over time, you believe that you can be your own God. Right. Because you don't you don't look at anything as impossible. Right. But the crazy thing is, in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, actually, it's, it's been something that. Uh, allows you to get through very difficult situations, right? Always knowing that you can rely on your own strength. Always knowing that, like, yeah, 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 I'll be able to deal with this situation, right? But there's an incredible thing that happens where that doesn't always work, right? And it's, it's hard to even accept that as somebody that for most of their life it has worked or in most moments it's worked, right? But there are these moments where it's like God comes through and is like, all right, let me just, I got to humble this guy real quick. Mm -hmm. Let me humble this guy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he dies that situation. He dies that situation. Oh, he, he thinks he did that. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me humble him real quick. And God comes through and is like, scoop. Right? And it's like, so I'm always, I'm always in a situation throughout every chapter of my life where at some point, you know, my back is against the wall. I remember being in the studio with John Legend, working on his last album, working on the first single, sitting next to him, Right? At the uh, in the studio at the board, right? And I remember getting uh, <laughs> I remember uh, around uh, a menu because they, people were gonna order food and stuff. This is back uh, a couple years ago, or whatnot, in New York. And the menu got to me, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna just look up the menu on my phone, being slick, making it seem like I was gonna look up the menu, but really what I was logging into was my bank account. And I remember logging into my bank account, and it says seven dollars. Right, and I'm like, Phew. but I play it real smooth. I'm like, eh, I'm not really messing with this menu. I got food at the crib. I'm gonna just eat at the crib. All good. Um, but my point is like, my back was against the wall. Right, and it's like that year was crazy. That year was crazy. I had uh, I was working two jobs to even be in a position to be in New York. Right, and it's like before I knew it. I was out of two jobs. So I had no income, $7 in my bank account, back against the wall, fighting my way out because all my life I've been a fighter, right? And nothing's working. And I've been at these different places at multiple stages in my life, and I've always realized a lot of the time, as a fighter, you're used to when you're back against the wall, you're looking around and you're looking for like, oh, okay, cool, is that the way out? Is that the way out? And you're fighting your way out, but nothing works. Right? It's like almost like imagine like you see, you feel like you see how to get out and you see the way. It's like this fork right here. Right? And you see it. And you're like, your whole life you've been used to like, oh, I just got to move this here. Oh, okay. Easy. And your whole life you've been doing this. But then you get to a point where you get here and your hand can't get any closer to this, to this fork. It can't get, and you're like trying so hard to just, oh, I just got to grab this. Right? And it's like something's holding you back. Every single time that I'm at that moment, I realize that instead of me looking around and trying to figure my way out, all I really had to do was like look up and be in tune, figure out how to be in tune with God again, right? And every single time that I've done that, every single time that there's been an obstacle in front of me, and I, instead of me focusing on that obstacle, I'm like, let me just get in tune real quick. By the time I, I kneel and I pray and I focus on that, by the time I open up my eyes, the obstacle is there. It was not even there anymore. Almost as if it never existed. And when that happens, it's one thing if that happens once in your life, right? But when it happens two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, thirty times in your life, you start to realize, like, oh, that's all I have to do. 
every single time. So I never see an obstacle now and be like, man, how am I? No, I get in tune with my creator. You know what I mean? And every single solitary time, without fail, is always a test of my faith. You know what I mean? And without fail, when I, cause as long as I take the time to be clear, as long as I take the time to be in tune, there are no obstacles. 